from Drakenzing, Tropico 4, Gameplay Commentary, Part 2. Education. Gotta build an educational place. High school, 8,000. I think that was backwards. Oh. Aren't the garages usually in the back? I don't see any other tents. The island's pretty big. Oh, well, actually, not that big. No, actually, kind of big. When you start building a bunch of shit. I guess the island type is different every time. I don't know. Because this one looks different from the previous one. Crime overlay. So let's see. Um, that's like a graphical. Build a police station. Gotta have that one too. Government police station. Probably best to build it like around red areas where crime is likely to occur. Looks like the warehouse has some crime going on. Let's build it a little close by but not too close. Because I don't want it to be only the um, police station to only be p p patrolling that area. This stupid hill can't build anything on it. I guess build it right here. Good spot. Let's get a road up. Where the hell's all my workers, man? Oh, it's still in normal time. Remember to speed up if you want to get things built faster. The avatar. The avatar. With your avatar selected, right click on any clear spot to travel there. So you can actually um, improve morale or increase fear or something like that if you visit certain places. Looks like it's telling me to visit a restaurant to inspire the cooks to work better. Or right here, increase service, increase the service quality. Since you're the president. I guess that goat star thingy, sun thingy, or whatever. It means that it got improved or something. Got more customers going there now. Where the hell did my person go? The school is nearly done. A few months to complete it. Yep, I built it backwards. <laughs> the entrance is on the other side. This. Oh well. Too many teachers. Each teacher provides two slots for students. It looks like I have too many teachers. Let's close, I guess. 
each light provides two, for two educated workers so you only need like depending on how many educated workers you need I don't really have that many buildings that need educated workers so I'm gonna only get like three teachers since right now I only have farming and I guess police station you need education but and the clinic but not really anything else hire two foreign doctors since I don't have an educational system that's high enough to get doctors I gotta hire them hire them for overseas you need to build more clinics and hospitals as your population grows that police station is taking a long as time to complete I'm just waiting for that task to be done the build the police station finally to get started on it when it's raining and thunderstorms, lightning and shit so you can actually see it has weather effects like rain, thunders I don't know if it actually um, does harm to your citizens or not I don't, I don't see anyone getting s struck by lightning the police So that covers the happiness, a little bit of it. Last one, poly politics. Let's see what this one teaches you. There's a nice detail on the rocks. This teaches you all about governing and stuff. Like all the trades, economy, stuff like that. I think this is more on the, all the automatics. Looks like there's eight groups, and depending on which which few groups you want to um, your island to most have, like most follow, it'll represent. You can see all the groups right here. I got a low percentage of loyalists. That means that. This, it looks like I don't really have that many loyal people on my island. Loyalist is only 31%. So I got to increase that. If you don't have loyalists, then they're going to try to overthrow you. So you got to make sure you have a lot of loyalists. It looks like I have to build a museum for loyalists. I guess that makes sense. Build a museum and then put all your, um, all your items in there. And then they will start to worship you, I guess. I guess I could just build this anywhere. Foreign powers. This explains your relationship with each country. And depending on your relationship, um, you get more trade opportunities and stuff, I guess. Right now it looks like USSR. I guess back then it's still called USSR. 85%. So we're good with that one. The lowest Europe and US. So we gotta build a foreign office.
just to let all the other um, diplomats and whatever come to your country discuss things ministry Ministry is basically like a law office or something. Politicians. Let's build it right here. They don't really care where I, where, where I built these buildings. They're not like farming buildings where you have to find like green fertile land and stuff. You could just build that anywhere. Speed up time. I only have five tasks. Just build these buildings and then check the overlays and the almanac. See if it increase or not. There's a lot of stuff here that I guess you have to learn yourself. They gave you the basics and you just have to learn yourself. Pretty good graphics, look at this. Looks like it's kind of restricted to that island only. You can't go any further. And the zoom, this is the furthest you can zoom out right here. Because you gotta hire a minister. It would be cool if you can zoom all the way out and then like go to another island and build that one. Then connect islands together, like create an island trade network or something. Or whatever island network. Island island type network, but I guess not. Hurry, Minister of Defense. So you got people in charge of every department. Foreign Affairs, Interior, I don't know what the hell Interior is, Defense, Education, Economy.